Okay, hello friends, one more time, hello back, uh, welcome back to Seaton International. I'm going to talk today about the typical reset uh, button of the cameras, uh, the IP cameras. Uh, okay, we have the camera we, we wanted to reset and for sure we need to reset it by pressing the button. Pressing the button, make a little pausa and check at me. You find it, it's very easy. I'm going to show you all the models that I've been working with. And when you found it, you have to make sure that you do this at the same time when you, without electricity, you locate the button, then you connect it. And when the camera is being urgent uh, with energy, keep the button pressed for 25 seconds. Okay, so now let's go to see where is the button. As you read in this title of the video, let's go for it. Okay, for example, in Dahua models, there's many of them that they doesn't have any button. But if you can see, for example, besides the serial number, there's sometimes these kind of two metal devices. Let me make a little zoom. On this part of the bottom, you can plug a, a single wire cable and then by pressing, consider as energy energizing and keep the, the, the wire, the, the cable inside for 25 seconds, the camera will be reset. That's in case that when the camera doesn't support any bottom of the reset. And you can put this uh, cable in any one of the holes that you can see on the main board besides the lens. On that one, mini, board, mini domes, many, many of them, like you can see here, is going to be located by also besides the serial. And this bottom is also, remember, 25 to 30 seconds and energize the camera as the same time previously you had pressed this bottom. Let's go for a Dahua bullet. Like always, you can see the recording um, device here down of the screen and there is a RST and there is this button in this case for example by uh, screw out and open the the base of the camera you will will find easily by the RST button let's go to the Dahua PT set in Dahua PT set PT set as well you take out the screwdrivers of the camera in the back make sure that you don't damage the glass and if you're lucky to see the press it, reset button, also try to press it there. So you'll be welcome back to the default camera settings. Let's go to the high vision mini domes, like as well. Most of the camera of the high vision when they are supporting recording, you are going to see the reset button besides the recording SD card. Like you see in the photo, it's been energized. This camera supports power over Ethernet. And as the camera is plugged into the electricity, keep the button before press for 25 to 30 seconds, better 30 seconds and more, so the camera receives. And sometimes do it two or three times. In Hikvich and BT sets, if you're lucky and you do this uh, disassemble a little bit, in main of the, the platform, you're going to see this button either beside the connectors or on the same level of the type when you see the serial. Remember that the PT set is a little complex and there's an administration of the net. If you can see the member of this PT set, you will see the, the serial and there is going to be clear a reset button also together with the RST letters or with a uh, little surface easy to, pro to press. You're going to feel it, that you can press it and as well as you're doing in the PT set, but in case of the PT set, don't forget it, but the camera is going to reset. It's going to try to make the, its own default values of the part in zoom initiation and then make sure that you do this in a table where you are not that damage the motor inside the camera or both of the systems, both of, both of the things happen at the same time with care. Remember, in order to avoid damages of the camera. Let's go to the Seaton Wi-Fi PT set. The Seaton family of camera most of the times are being located by inside besides the SD card. Remember, Seaton promotes and it's uh, on beef and you can also work it by the on beef or 
or by the Seton software or in this case besides the SD card uh, place where you can locate the SD card if you make a little zoom of this and also besides the cable in the case of the PT set is located over there in the Emo Dahua Emo Bullet you are going to find it also besides the SD card and as well as the other cameras once you are pressing the button remember the energy it's out you press the button to so together at the same time you are presenting and you are resetting the bottom of the camera for 25 to 30 seconds let's go for the Kami Pro, Kami Pro PT set also they have it on the cable most of them for the bull hiding wifi camera there's three holes one of them is for the speaker and another one is for the bulb in this case a little bit it's a little bit more complicated because the bulb cameras the hiding cameras they have to be energized at the same time you are presenting or doesn't matter if it is at the same time that you are presenting the bottom and but uh, it's going to give you a little more a little bit more complications not only by resetting the camera to uh, recover the default values of the camera i explain you this later so now let's go for the frequent frequent asked questions during the reset the sd card could be damaged the answer is yes so make sure that you take out the sd card outside from the camera because the camera is um, most likely that could damage the sd card why better prevent most of the time doesn't but in case it, it happens if you want to make sure that the sd card has this video on safe make sure that you cannot uh, have the sd card inside will the camera come back online by wi-fi no Mm -mm -mm. once the camera is outside of the LAN and then it goes to the initial parameters automatically the Wi-Fi parameters are going to be erased will the camera come back online by the IP segment? no it's very important like I told you in the, in the video before that you go and know what's the original parameters of the manufacturer because the camera maybe can go back to the initiation of a different segment IP address and then when you execute its IP tool or you wanted to make a configuration again you may not find the camera online will the camera lose its new firmware? no the camera go back to the default factory settings but if you already put the firmware the new firmware inside the camera the camera will remain with the update of the latest firmware you have plugged inside the camera will the camera maintain its time and locks? no automatically most of the cameras if they are coming from China are going to go back to the schedule they had initiation from the Hong Kong export and then also the locks are going to be disappearing this means that the user, the logins and the configuration of the mainboard of the camera are going to be away so there's no, there's no way to recover the logs LOG for people that doesn't know what is the LOG of the IP cameras please leave a comment in, the, in, in this description of the video I'm going to tell you personally what it is will the camera be back from its default email you no, know, it's going to be keeping the email that associated because that's going to be another procedure in this um, in this part I don't want to expand, extend too much the, the time on this because this, this video cannot be too much do we need to update the camera settings after? of course, yes, like in German we say not too least for it so that's for all, thank you for watching and if you have more questions please leave it in the comments remember that we are updating videos on this we are going to, to talk about the next time video about how to reset the user password